Alright, welcome back. This is that guy on the right, and this is Let's Play Shinmu. And we're finally getting that one move we were trying to get. Ah, oh, it's a pain in the ass to get this move. We spent the entire last episode trying to get this move. <coughs> this move is very powerful. Especially yeah, Magushi san. Especially if oh, you set it up. Ryo. What are you doing here? I was having a drink with your father. With my father? Well, you may not believe it, but I've been training in Kobu Jutsu for many years. I used to spar with your father. After our workouts, we always drank sake together. By the way, have you uh, ever learned this move? Huh? Watch. Yamagashi san, what move is that? It's an ancient technique that I once taught to Iwao. To my father. Martial arts masters often exchange techniques. Just as your father and I did. We were very good friends. It must be fate that you came here. I want to teach you this move. How about it? Please teach me. Well, there's no time like the present. I'll teach you right here, right now. It's a move from Kobu Jutsu called Double Blow. I'll show you the footwork first, so watch carefully. Take one step forward and build up your energy, then strike with your arms and legs at the same time. This is the double blow. Now you try. First, quickly shift your weight forward. We're gonna speed this along, actually. Press forward, X and A. Compliments. Same time. You mastered it with so little instruction. You are truly a Hazuki. Your father would be very proud of you. No, I'm still... But even so, that was amazing. The double blow was developed during the 16th century. It's a very powerful technique, and... If done properly, the blow can be felt even through armor. Do you want to practice some more to make sure you've mastered it? Nah. No, I think I've got it. I see. Really? All right. Perhaps you'll be fine. Keep at it, and good luck. Yes. Thank you very much. Someday, I'd like us to drink sake together. Me too. I look forward to that day. the double blow. Alright. Since we got that one, I'm gonna see if I can get the other, see if I can get that one fight that I was trying to get in the last episode. Maybe I can go get it. This is an alternate path to get to Sakura Gaoka real quickly, so that way you don't have to go through, all the way through town. Just go whoop, whoop, and we're right there and we're right, next, right up on the park too, so. 5.54 p.m. Yes, I'm beating on my uh, triggers. So, <laughs> go forward, go forward, go forward. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No whammies, no whammies. No. All right, I've heard it. I heard it works on the third day. So. Okay, we gotta go back to um, uh, the Buita. So, 
I'll meet you at nightfall. Alright, it's almost nightfall. Get a bigger thing than I want. Come on, come on, nightfall. We're gonna have to see our first nightfall animation recorded. So. All right, nightfall. Let's, let's advance the plot. Yo, pal! What's up? Hey, I know you. Nah, let me apologize for before. What? You know, you're a good fighter. <laughs> I was impressed. So? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? <laughs> yeah. He's a friend of mine. Really? Yeah. You don't trust people, do ya? Come on. I'll take you to meet him. Alright, this is the battle system for this game. If you can, as you can tell, it's a lot like a tournament fighter, like a virtual fighter kind of thing. In fact, that's what this game started out as. It's an RPG for virtual fighter. And X is your punching. As you can see, I'm failing because I'm trying to explain it. A is your kick. And you took him out. Put them together, you can do double blow. B is your grab. You can do that. Y is your dodge. Wow, he went flying. And get away from me. Get away from me. And you can set something to R to automatically do it. And if you run around the ring like this, like a goofball, ow, like this, you can actually regain health. Damn it! Yeah. Which is quite handy in a certain thing that happens later in the game. Well, the longer you can take without getting, the longer you can go without being hit, the more you get more damage, well, the more health you get in the game. So, there we go, he's gone. First battle in the game, I almost freaking lost it. <laughs> Do you know Charlie? I... I don't know any Charlie! Where'd you get the tattoo? Okinawa! I'm not lying, but there's a tattoo parlor in Yokosuka too! A friend told me about it! Where's the tattoo parlor? I don't know! You've gotta believe me! Gotta find a tattoo parlor. So let's ask around a little bit. Oh wait, that's not the uh, red light district down there. Gotta go down this way. Ah, let's ask. Let's Hi. Ask. Hey, be sure to come back again. Sure. All right. He won't tell us anything. Let's ask Tom. And Tom. he's a ghost. Hi, Dio. Do you know of any tattoo parlors around here? Dio, are you getting a tattoo? Uh-uh. I'm looking for someone. Sorry, I don't know of any tattoo parlors, man. Really? Alright. Tom doesn't know anything. Let's go through the red light district through here. 
go to the rift. Most all the shops are closed except for bars. Come on, this. Look at this guy. Ono san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. I heard you had a hard time. Yeah. Are you okay now? Yes. I feel a lot better now. Don't overdo it. Yeah, he sounded so convincing. Oh, the chief voice. Knocking mo Okay. Come on, let, why won't... Okay, maybe I have to walk away. Do a quick turn around. There we go. Oh, no, son. Hey, Ryo! Do you know of any tattoo parlors around here? Tat? Oh, right, tattoos. I heard there was a shop like that around here. Really? Do you know where it is? No idea. Oh, I know some of the bikers who come here sometimes have tattoos on their arms. Why don't you ask them? Where can I find them? I see them a lot in the arcade. The arcade? Thanks. All right, we got a lead. Let's go to the arcade, which is on the other side of town. On the other side of the Blita. And it's not that far to walk, so... This world is not actually all that big. And he... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Him, him, him. I think I can get something out of him. Tatsumi-san. Hey, what's up? Got him? Why do you have pink hair? Uh, sorry. I see. <laughs> he looks all tough, but he sounds like a freaking nerd. <laughs> it's like that... Like the guy who voice acted Marilyn Manson in that Family Guy, in that Family Guy episode. <laughs> wow, this game never ceases to make me laugh sometimes. All right, <laughs> the arcade. Yes, we have not been in here yet. You can actually play old Sega games in here. Well, a couple of old Sega arcade games. Over there is Space Harrier, and over there is. Uh, hang on. Both of which you can play on the Sega Genesis, so... Um, what you want? I'd like to ask you about your tattoo. You interested in tattoos? Yeah. This tattoo's our gang symbol. Where'd you get it? At the best tattoo artist around! Where's that tattoo parlor? By the look of those arms, you look like you can hold your own in a fight. I'll tell you what you want to know, if you'll join our gang. Sure. All I right. need to know. If you mean it, go get the tattoo. The shop's in Okayama Heights. I trust you can find it yourself. Alright, now we know where the tattoo parlor is. And that... That tattoo insignia... Looks just like my school's emblem, so... Hmm, I wonder what that says. Eight four, eight forty-two. We cannot go to bed quite yet, so we're gonna see if we can find Okayama Heights. I know it's here in the Blue Castle. And look, over here's a sign. Sign, sign, everywhere, sign. Okay, we're right there. Red Light District. Heights Okiyama, not quite the same. Okay, Okiyama Heights. Right in the red light district, so. Let's see if we can find the building. Hey, look, the path to the red light district. Go through here. Imagine playing this area in GTA. It'd be kind of weird. Whee! Oh, crap. <laughs> He's not working on his bike at the moment. Bar Tune. Yeah, it's a karaoke bar. And another sign. And right right here. So I'm gonna assume that that poster up there is the sign for the business. Yep, yeah, open. Let's see if we can meet Charlie. Charlie! Charlie! Sorry, man. We're closed. Your sign said open. A guy named Charlie gets his tattoos here, right? Never heard of him. That's funny. He's been bragging about your work. I want to ask him something in person. That's so. Hey, man. Why don't you lose the jacket? What? Easy, no, I man. I just figured you've got perfect skin for my work. Nice color. No sag. 
I would love to get the chance to work on someone fresh for a change. I'm sick and tired of those cheap, greasy punks. No, I'm not into tattoos. I want to know about Charlie. Hey, let me work on you, man. I won't charge you nothing. Come on. I said no. Oh, man. Too bad. You know Charlie, don't you? Come on back tomorrow. Is he coming in tomorrow? He might come. Look, I'm closed. Get out. All right, so we gotta come back tomorrow. That's always good. So, since it's after nine o'clock, I will end this episode off right here, and I'll meet you here tomorrow. So, this is that guy on the right, signing off.